Hey everyone, so my name is Gary and I suffer from a condition called sacroagenesis. It affects 1 in 25,000 births and basically it means that my sacrum bone is fused or, or it's not there. Uh, in my case it's fused. I have seen people where they haven't got the sacrum bone and they are a lot worse off than me they basically stop at the waist. Um, I have tried not to let my disability control my life. I've done as much as I can throughout my life and tried to achieve things that people have thought well, this guy he's got a disability he can't do that but I've, I've gone and proven them wrong. When I was younger I did a bit of sailing, a bit of canoeing and even caving and the amount of people that when, when they hear that I've been down a huge dark hole in, in com really confined spaces they're, they're, they're amazed, they're amazed that I've been able to do that, that somebody with a disability has been able to go down and do caving but there are ways of doing these things you need to know the right people, you need to find the people that are out there to assist you. I had a, a great team of youth workers when I was at school and basically they're the ones that got me involved in it. They, they're the ones that said try it, give it a go. What's the worst that can, that can happen? So I did, I tried it and I loved it and I, I got myself a specialised harness made for me and I, I, I did have two people assist me throughout the, the experience because of course there are, there are restrictions, you, you, there are things that you know that you won't be able to do but the majority of it was me, the majority of get, getting through this cave was me, I didn't have to rely on anybody else they were just there because of the whole health and safety and because it, it was a school trip so it, it had to be, they had to follow the certain rules they couldn't just say yeah that's fine just chuck him down the hole so it's, it, it does work, you, you need to find the people that will help you and if, if you're at school then, then speak to a youth worker Speak to them and say that you're interested in doing, doing certain things and, and see what they say. And most of the time they will want to help. They, they want to see that you, they can see that you want to do it. So they will want to help you do this. But it doesn't just stop at school. Continue to be like this for the rest of your life. If you see something and you want to do it, if, if there's a job that you want to do, go for it. Don't think to yourself, will I be able to do this because of my disability? Yes, of course there are some jobs that, that you won't be able to do. You, you won't be able to go in the armed forces. You won't be able to be a police officer, fireman. But there are jobs out there that you'll, you'll be able to do and maybe even do a lot, lot better than a person who's able-bodied. So always, always try new things. Like I, like, like I said before, what's the worst that can happen? you try something and you find out okay I can't do this but then at least you've tried rather than sort of having it straight in your head going oh I can't do this so always go out there always try new things and, and just see what you can do push your limitations so if you feel this video has helped in any way please do like it and subscribe and please put comments below of, of any hardships that you have or, or if you want advice on anything to do with your disability, if, if you feel that you need to talk to somebody that has been, has had the same sort of experiences, then please do comment below.